dear from Tinker Tales. I hope you've had a magical day. Welcome to another Walt Disney World planning holiday. Oh yes, I am going to share with you um, some money saving tips today. So we all know that a trip to Walt Disney World can be very expensive. There's no way to get around that. If you're going to Walt Disney World, you're going to have to save some serious bucks, unless you're minted, in which case, take me with you next time. Uh, but <laughs> There are some ways to save some money, some money before you go, some money while you're out there. Maybe just some things you haven't considered for your Walt Disney World holiday. So hopefully this will help you out. If it does, please give me a big thumbs up. Hit that like button down below. Really appreciate it. So obviously the first place that you can save money is when you are actually booking your holiday. The only way that you are going to get the best deal for your Walt Disney World holiday is just to research and price it up in as many different combinations as you can possibly get. So pricing up if it's cheaper for you to get a package deal, so all in one nice little bulk box, a package deal. Um, or if it's cheaper for you maybe to book a couple of things in the package and then pick a couple of other things that you do yourself through separate companies or to do it all completely separately. Lots of different things to think about. Also the time that you book there's always sales on, you can find sales with flights, you can find sales with travel agents, you can find that they're offering maybe some little perks, so obviously with Walt Disney World, the free dining, if you're planning on staying Walt Disney World property, the free dining is always a good thing to look out for when that offer is on. You also get offers with free days and nights, or 14 day park tickets for the price of seven, there's always so many different offers on. So like I said, the only way to do it is to research it, plan it, put it on a spreadsheet, just working out all the different options, the possible options for you to book it. That is the best way for you to save money. Also, one good little tip is if you are planning on booking a package holiday, if you think it's just easier for you to do it all in one place, I would highly recommend actually going into a travel agent's, going down to a Virgin store or a Thomas Cook store or whoever your preferred travel agent is and actually speaking to someone face to face. It's a very good way to maybe get a few little extras thrown in or a little bit of money off. You can negotiate more when you're dealing face to face with someone than you can just doing it all online. Also check out if your particular company that you work for offers any kind of perk packages that maybe you haven't really looked into. I know with my job we get discounts on a lot of different places. Really, really good when we're booking things like car rentals, flights, hotels. All stuff like that we get discount with through various different companies. So make sure you check out any perk packages that you might have through work. I have already mentioned the Walt Disney World Disney Dining Plan. If you are planning on staying Walt Disney World on Walt Disney World property, try and book during a free dining period because at least then you know that your majority of your meals at Walt Disney World are covered. You don't have to budget that into your spending money. It's a really nice way to, you know, know where you are with your money. Um, we're really looking forward to trying that out this year. I will give a full review on it when we come back, whether it worked for us, because I know some people it won't work for. If you're going to pay for it, if you're going to pay for the dining plan, you really need to sit down and work out if you're going to eat that much food, uh, if it's going to be worthwhile you having. If you're not big eaters, if you're not planning on trying all the nice sit down restaurants, then it might be worth you not getting it and just paying it as you go. If you aren't on the dining plan, obviously food can get very, very pricey. We all need to eat, we all love to eat. And if you're not staying in a villa, obviously your options are limited. You have to eat out. That's, you know, you don't have the facilities to cook. But there are some ways you can save some money. If you're eating in the parks, obviously American portions are huge. Even like the kids' meals are huge. So one tip I would say, me and Rich do this a lot, if we're having a quick service meal just for lunch and we know that we're going to have a bigger dinner, we will share a meal. We will just get one to split between us and that will keep us going for most of the afternoon. Also, I quite often order a kid's meal. No one's going to judge you if you order a kid's meal. They really, really won't. Lots of people do it and the kid's meals, the portions are pretty much a regular UK adult size portion. So... That will keep you going so that's a good way because they're a lot cheaper as well and no one's going to ask if you're with kids like they'll just give you a kids meal it's fine no judging no judging over here kids meals are awesome if you can eating off site is a lot cheaper obviously everyone knows theme park food is that much more expensive than you're going to find outside of the theme parks and in and around orlando there are so many amazing restaurants you get obviously all the chains like chilies and Hooters, you get your McDonald's, your Wendy's, your Burger King's, you get your Denny's, 
Ponderosa, Red Lobster. So it's like I could go on and on and on and on and on. But there are so many awesome restaurants and a lot, lot cheaper and massive portion sizes. So maybe eating off site for your big meal a day, that's going to save you a fair bit of cash. Also recommend going to the local supermarket, say Walgreens, Target, Publix, whichever your supermarket of choice is. Go there, stock up on some stuff. If we went on the dining plan, what we always do is we will go and buy like some cereal and some milk so that we can have breakfast before we go out into the parks. We'll have breakfast in the room. We'll buy biscuits and snacks and some bottled drinks just to kind of keep us going. So we're not feeling that we have to go and buy snacks all the time while we're in the parks because that will add up if you're not on the dining plan. That will add up quite a lot. And I have spoken about this before, but water. You need to keep yourself hydrated in Florida. It's very, very hot. It's very, very muggy. You need to make sure you are drinking plenty of water. There is free ice water all over the parks. Any kind of counter service location, any of those kind of food booths will offer free ice water. So make sure you're taking advantage of that. There's also water fountains all over the place. And like I said about going to a supermarket, pick up a massive crate of water, keep it in your room. So at least then you've got water for when you get home. You've got water that you can take into the parks in the morning to, you know, tide you over for a little bit and just refill that bottle a bit later. Another great tip if you're planning on doing some shopping is discount vouchers. These can be found all over the place. There's free newspapers and free leaflets out and about anywhere you go in Orlando, which will give you discount vouchers for certain shops and certain restaurants. If you book your tickets through certain agents such as Florida Ticks or Attraction Tickets Direct, Quite often they will give you a discount voucher booklet for the malls and the outlets. Really, really good way to save some money on that shopping, guys. Don't really need to pay full price for anything, if I'm honest. You can always find really good stuff, especially in the outlets. If you are planning on getting loads and loads of gifts while you're out there, go and check out the Disney outlets especially. You'll find loads of good stuff in there at a much cheaper rate. You've also got all those gift shops around, you know, Kissimmee and iDrive loads and loads of gift shop with some really really cool and very very tacky sometimes gifts which will be a hell of a lot cheaper than any of the stuff you're going to buy in the parks and i've never had anything bad quality from those gift shops we've had quite a few t-shirts and hoodies and they're still good today even though some of them are about 10 years old so definitely go and give those a try guys you will save yourself a lot of money on gifts and no one's going to know that it didn't come exactly from disney just put it in a disney bag they'll never know one bit of information that I've picked up from some friends and uh, family who've been out to Walt Disney World, obviously we don't have kids, but a really good idea if you do have kids is giving them their own spending money budget. You can buy like little Disney gift cards um, and you can load those up with however much you want. So if you know that they've got $100 for the holiday that, you know, grandma gave them, load it onto a Disney gift card and then that is theirs. It's a great way to teach them about budgeting. It means that they know that once that card is gone it's gone it means you're not constantly having to reach into your wallet to pay for more stuff that they want really really good tip i got from some friends of mine so hopefully that might help you guys out if you are traveling with your children and lastly the best way to save money is just to budget make sure that you have a daily spend budget make sure you have a budget in mind for your overall holiday when you're booking it so you don't go over you know what you can afford Walt well, Disney World is going to be expensive, guys. There's no real way around that. But there are some ways that you can limit your spending, plan a budget. Have We always have a daily spend. It's normally about $150 to $200 a day if we're paying for food. This year, we're not paying for that much food. so But we're still probably going with the same budget because I have a lot more a lot more stuff I want to buy than I normally do. Oh, spirit jerseys will be the death of me. I'm sure they will. But there are ways to save your money, guys. There's also so much information out there on the internet, on YouTube, of ways to save money and, you know, ways to get hold of discount vouchers. Check out Disney Mums panel. Um, always a really good one for that kind of thing. If you have found this video helpful, guys, please let me know. Leave a comment down below. If you've got any other money saving tips that you think other people might find helpful, again, let me know down below. If you guys ever need any help with any kind of aspect of what Disney World planning or if there's any questions you want to know, if you want to know how we do certain things, how we're planning things, then again, feel free to ask down below or you can contact me on Twitter at Tinker underscore Tales. But as always, the most important thing, and I will always say this, is to have a magical day, whatever you are doing for the rest of your day, your weekend, your month. Have a magical time and I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye.